have a SharePoint list here called resellers with reseller name and location. What I want to do is make a new power app. And the reason I'm going to do this is so I can manage my resellers directly from my cell phone, smartphone, or from my tablets. So when I create the power app automatically is going to pull in the schema of that list and the existing data from that list. And it's going to give me a view that I can jump into right away and start editing, adding to whatever I want to do. Here's my default view. On the left, you see there are different screens, the detail screens, the edit screen, etc. And I can change the layout of any of these things that I wanted to using information and the panel on the top and the layout on the right. I can go to different screens that have been made for me, change the layout as needed, as you can see over here. Once I'm satisfied with the layout, let's say this one in particular right now, then I can go ahead and move to the next step, which is previewing it. So this is what it's going to look like on my mobile device at this time in portrait view. I'm going to go ahead and test it out as well and add a location and reseller. Title is not necessary. It's not mandatory. So now Contoso in Seattle has been added. Of course, I want to verify that this was truly added. So I'm going to go back to my site. Here you can see that this is showing that the power view is in edit mode. I'm going to go to the reseller list. And here it is. Contoso in Seattle has been added. So currently I have this mobile app ready to go. I can go ahead and save it. I can change the icon if I wanted to and the background color for that as well. And that's what's going to be viewed as that's how it's going to look in my power app in my cell phone, for example. So I've changed the icon, changed the background color. I can rename the app as well if I wanted to. Also, you can change the orientation, landscape or portrait. I'm going to keep it portrait for right now. And when I'm satisfied, I can go ahead and save it. So what this means right now is that if I have the Power Apps app on my device, which I do, I can go to Power Apps and I'll see this particular view right away as long as I'm signed in as myself. I'll see exactly what you see on the screen right now. Now, furthermore, if I want to share this application or this app with other people, I can click on the share your app icon. And on this screen, I can see all my apps and I can share them. By default, they're already shared with my organization and with myself, but I can go ahead and share it with others as well.